Hey guys, in today's video, we will train your polygonal model skill by creating a chair. Remember, there are playlists with all the products already created, will be in the card above. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here, what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! Let's start by creating a plan to add our reference, the download link is in the video description. Let's start with a line to create the outline of this piece of the wood. I will align at the bottom part with the snap. And again, with the line, we will create the middle outline. We use the attach to join the lines and convert them to editable poly. We will apply a shell to give thickness. Again, with a line, we will create the middle part of the model. We will adjust the width and thickness so that it matches to the reference. I will change the color to make it easy to see. Let's align this bottom part better matching the two pieces. With symmetry, we will mirror this piece on the z-axis. I will increase the scale of the middle piece so that the model is larger. We return the first piece and adjust its position. Once this is done, we will create this piece that support the middle of the model. Using a circle, we remove the thickness and adjust the size with reference. In steps, we use the value of 2. I will add an edit spline to create the copies of the circles. By holding down Shift K, you create the copies. Let's make all the ones in your model. Let's increase the scale of the circles a little, matching them better with the reference. Now we can convert them to editable poly, adjust their position and then add thickness with the shell. Let's select this face and apply an inset and then a collapse. On the sides of part, while holding down shift, we apply a scale and then extrude the face. Again, we extrude outwards, leaving the part the same size again to create this detail. Now, all we need to do is extrude the face to the other side to complete the shape of the part. Let's select the Zs to apply a chamfer, keeping the head hard.
In this part, we use the add connexes to add the two loops keeping the edge hard. Let's do the same on the side of the model. And also on this part, keeping the edge hard. That's it, we apply a symmetry on the Z-axis. Now let's adjust the middle piece so that it's above the support piece. Let's do the same for this backrest piece. Now that we have wooden base of the model created, let's create the upluster. Using a box, we will create the base of the upluster, we adjust the thickness and position the model correctly. Holding down shift, we will create a copy of this base to make the backrest part. Let's also adjust its size. Now, let's reduce the scale of bottom piece a little. Let's isolate this bottom part and add some loops to create the poster effect. I'm going to select the edges of the model and apply a chamfer. And also add loops to the side part. Now let's add a cloth modifier. Let's leave the gravity value at zero. Let's go to the object properties. We we'll select cloth and in presets we we'll select heavy leather. In pressure, I'm going to use the value of 20 to test the simulation. We click on simulate local and see the results. I'm going to return to the model and remove these lines. Let's add only two loops. We go back to the modifier and now I'm going to decrease the pressure to 10. I think the result is better now. I'm going to press Ctrl Z and add the wooden base to the simulation. I'm going to isolate the rest of the model, keeping only that piece. Let's go to the cloth modifier and select the add object option. We are going to select the object collision options. For the upholstery, I'm going to leave the pressure volume at 7. Now we are going to simulate in this option below. With it, we will have the simulation recorder in the frames of our timeline. I'm going to let all the frames finish it. Ok, as you can see, the entire simulation can be seen through the frames. I'm going to select a point where the model matches the reference. Here, it's very close. Let's then convert it to editable poly to the record simulation in your object. Let's do the same now on the other part of the model. Again, we add support loops and the chamfer on the edges of the model. We add loops on the sides and we adjust its position so that it's above the bottom piece. Now we can add cloth modifier and we will add the wooden base and also the first supplementary so that the collision happens on both pieces. We select the points where the simulation will occur correctly and cover it to editable poly.
since the model is a little far from the base, we will add a cloth modifier again. We adjust the gravity value, we will add the object for collision again and start the simulation. We chose the points where the simulation is correctly and convert it to editable poly again. Once that is done, we have the base of the entire model created. We adjust the rotation here so that it's correctly in our skin. Now let's export the upholstery to ZBrush to refine our model. Here in ZBrush, we will import the model and open some reference to start creating the plaster. It's worth remembering that this step is accelerated. The entire process is quite simple and intuitive. Let's take a good look at our reference and try to extract the most from them so that we can put the greatest amount of details in the model. If you are interested in learning how to scoop in ZBrush, I have some news that you will like it. I'm creating a new channel here on YouTube. The link to subscribe is in the video description. There, I will publish videos how I scoop my 3D models. The channel was created a few days ago. And in the coming weeks, I will have contents available to everyone. I count on the support of all of you in this new journey of learning and no ads. The link to subscribe is in the video description. Once the description stage is complete, we will import the new models into 3ds Max. First, we will import this part and join everything together with the attach. We will do the same with the other part of the model, joining all the parts together with attach. We will delete this old model. We will reduce the reflection that comes in the ZBrush materials. Now, in Add Modes, we will select all the ads of the model since it came with the parts separated. Holding down Ctrl, we will change to the Vertex mode and apply Weld to weld the points. Now we return to the edge modes and use grade shape to create a new shape from the Zs. We adjust the thickness and join everything into a single mesh. Now we use the shift tool to remove this undulation in the model. We adjust it throughout the entire model. Once that is done, we will finish the other part of the chair. We will apply a chamfer to the side's wood and then use the normal weighted. We will copy the two modifiers to the middle part of the model. In the cylindrical part, we will apply an open subdivide modifier. To finish, we will adjust the position of this plaster, bringing it closer to the base. And that's it! The model is finished! I hope you enjoyed the content! See you next time! Bye!